Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am Lord Forens here playing as the Netherlands. We are very close to getting another colonial nation. We have a loan to pay off. Somehow our Danish allies won a war against Austria that we pieced out of. Well done on their part, I guess. And uh, we are either plotting against Burgundy or Geltry this time. Not entirely sure which I would like to take out. Suffice to say, we should probably try expanding in Europe once more. And apparently Cuba is fighting a peasant revolt, which actually doesn't matter to me because Cuba has 10,000 troops somehow. How much development does Cuba have? I'm curious. Cuba has 100 development already with, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 provinces. That's a reasonably developed nation. It's bigger than most of Europe. Okay. Um, is this colonized? This is being colonized by me. Okay, good. Guadeloupe. Ivory Coast is obviously taking a long time to be colonized because it's tropical. I'd like to boost it, but we just had to deal with a potential another merchant revolt. Isn't my life wonderful? Revolts, revolts, revolts. Uh, we'll do that. I will do the Monopoly Charters to try and get the burgers vaguely happy with me. I'll do the New World Charter. That way we get somewhat faster colonization. And hopefully we just don't get any more events that boost merchant influence for some time. We want to get this next expansion idea going so we can get a third colonist working and then one more and we can finish it. Then we'll switch our ideas from native coexistence to native trading. Oh, left and right and left and right and left and right. Um, we'll do a royal marriage. It'll hurt our legitimacy a bit. You know what, is there any ideas that actually give legitimacy? I'm kind of curious. No, I'm actually surprised. There are no events that give legitimacy um, in the idea trees. Um, we will take that. We are still exploring there. The leagues have formed. I am going to probably stay out of it. Because as soon as we form the Netherlands, we're going to leave the HRE anyway. So even if they do become Protestant or Catholic, we're going to ditch it and run, so... Look at all the... there's a lot of Protestants. I don't know if that's enough, though. Speaking of which, let's see how the religions did. Anglicanism is mixing with Protestantism. A lot of Protestants there. Is England tolerant or something, or...? No. So they Theirs should be having penalties here. Yeah. England's having a lot of trouble with religion. This is the issue of trying to found your own religion. You're not Henry VIII, you are John II. That's why you don't try and form your own religion, John II. It usually doesn't end well. This coring is taking forever. We're waiting for this to be done in a year. Um... We will take the tariff on Cuba. I believe that will offend Cuba, but I think it goes down over time. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know. They have power relative to me because they've got 10 troops, which is impressive. We'll leave them alone for the time being. Um, Geltry. Cannot call in England because they are in a war. Cannot call in Austria. Cannot call in Denmark because they are massively in debt. Could we threaten? No. Could we win this on our own? No. Could we attack you? Yes. Could we win? No. <laughs> yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. We can't really fight anyone right now. Other than a Holland, uh, Brabant is no longer a rival. Interesting. No longer a valid rival. So that means I can pick a new rival. 
Portugal, probably. I should have probably done Brabant, honestly. Oh well, we'll live. Uh, we can turn off this. Save us some money. Because we developed this to 40 development, which is kind of awesome. I was hoping to, you know, be able to stack it with the uh, land reclamation of Holland to get even more, but eh, we'll live. 40 dev capital should be one of the largest provinces in Eastern Europe, or Western Europe. And it's bigger than Paris, which is actually historically accurate for this time period, I believe. Yeah, it's richer than most of them. Brunswick is still hopelessly trying to fight off Protestants. I'm kind of amused by this endless back and forth between the Protestants and Catholics. And Once the Protestants occupy the province, it should convert back to Protestantism. Oh, state religion is Protestant. Oh, okay. And those are Catholic zealots. Oh, boy. Um, I don't think I can march troops over there to help you. I would. Can I? No, I can't. It's going to offer to go help these guys. That way they convert. Actually, I can. Okay. Ask for military access. I'm going to go crush some Catholic rebels here just so that when I try and take this land, it is Protestant rather than Catholic. Um... I know this is a bit weird, me sending my troops abroad, but this is right on my border. I prefer not to have Catholics right there. Okay, and we'll leave you to occupy that. We'll occupy that. These provinces should convert to Protestant because of the centers of Reformation. We'll take that idea. We'll get a settler going. I'm going to send the settler to... up here. We will start in on... I'd like to start in there in Massachusetts, but that's apparently not an option. Uh, we will go with Manhattan, I guess. Manhattan? Manhattan? Or Chesapeake? Chesapeake. There we go. More development. Goal, get our colonial nations as rich as possible, really. Okay, that should be done. Next month we should have a colonial nation, hopefully. Dutch Mexico, and that also takes away those two provinces I owned, which is good. Not a lot of land there, but because they're Republican, there should be no unrest. And other news, how are we doing with cultures? We're doing fine. The colonial nation just absolutely failed at repressing rebels, which is kind of amusing. Burgers have been weakened once more. Can I give them back land? It can. It is a risk, but the money is worth it. I know. I keep giving the burgers land. It is so not worth it. Okay, we'll cancel military access once our troops are out of there. Protestantism should reign in Brunswick from now on, hopefully. Once that's converted, that should be, well, a handful of their provinces will be Protestant. Ivory Coast is done. I am going to convert. I'd like to convert this. I suppose I could just stick it in one of these. We'll stick it in a West African charter. That way we don't have to deal with rebels ever. Can we get all the way down here? We, in fact, can. So I'm going to jump down there. Even though I can't stop Castile from getting it, I can at least make it around the corner of Africa. Um, I think England... I don't know what happened with the French-English war. Can I fight Burgundy? Would England join? England would not join because they're five some odd thousand in debt. Great. Mercantilism increase. Obviously, that is to our benefit. How much? How far in debt is Denmark still? 890. Mm. Losing wars puts you in debt, I guess, which makes sense. The vast, vast, vast benefit is on the Protestant side. So I'm going to actually join the Protestants. Yeah, I'll join the Protestant League. Although I'm going to lose my alliance with Austria. Darn. Oh well, 
that's the way it goes. I'd much rather be part of the Protestants at this point. Did I join? I think I joined. Yes. I could leave. Oh, I can't leave for another five years. <sighs> Smugglers are dominating again. We'll stop them going to debt again because this is what happens. I hate paying war reparations. It's got to be the one of the hardest things in the game to overcome once you start losing it. Austria is going to break their alliance with me, which means is there any chance for me to start a war before then? No. Okay. Maybe if I'm lucky, once we win the war, yeah, the Protestant Catholic war, which we should, because we have oh England's on the oh shoot, we're going to lose our alliance with England. Oh, I can't leave. Shoot. I'm going to need to seek new allies. Um, Castile, maybe? They like me, right? Yes, they do, but I'm allied to Portugal and other stuff. Okay, improve relations with them. Castile should lose their alliance with Portugal, and I should lose my alliance with England. If we do, then I should be able to ally Castile, which I guess is an upgrade. I'd really like to get France in on the Catholic, the Protestant side, but... Hmm. It's too bad. Uh, that's going to be uh, England, actually, not Austria. Odd. Why am I actually managing to keep them around longer than England? Uh, speaking of which, before we lose England, though, let's quick raise the favors. That way they'll like us a little more for a little longer. Holland is threatened by France, yeah. Of course I'm threatened by France. France is right on my doorstep. They don't want my province, though, so I might try and improve relations with them. Need a little bit more admin tech. No. And I can do the same thing with the military. I don't dare do the same thing with the Dutch. Lost their alliance with the English. Cool. Let's ally ourselves to Castile then. And we're also going to lose our alliance with Austria soon, which is, I guess, okay. We have a horrible relationship with Castile. Oh my. Because they're pirating us. Not good. Um, who can we ally that is worth allying? Um, Switzerland? Pomerania? I foresee trouble, actually. Now Now that I joined the HRE religious war, I see trouble coming from all directions, actually. Um, do I want to ally myself to Pomerania? What are the alliance networks looks like? Pomerania is allied to those people. Switzerland's allied to the Venice. Denmark's pretty much just allied to me. I guess I'll ally Pomerania. And I'll work on improving relations with Castile so that hopefully I can get alliance with them. Send this other person here to France. Can I go back to the New World? I think I can safely for the moment. Although, it's probably as soon as I leave, the HRE Religious War is going to kick off, which is going to suck. Um, who are you allied to? Those guys. Oh, wow! The Hustak actually have survived here. Survived and expanded. Did they go colonial? No. They got a colonial idea. Interesting, I guess. England's fighting reformed and reformed zealots. Brunswick is actually stable. I'm kind of tempted to ally them because they're right on my border. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I was going to improve relations with Castile, but that pirating me is a problem. They're just continuously pirating me now. Wow. That is stupid. You're literally not going to get an alliance with me because of the pirating. Okay, still nowhere near a great power rank. 
We'll be able to pay off a loan here, though. Or not. Because of war reparations, of course. Okay. I believe... I like to think that my colonial nation has set up some claims, but... Or not. Okay. I don't think I... Can I attack these guys? No. Fabricating claim time. That in... Uh, paying off one loan. War reparations should be done soon. Right. Four years. Okay. Ooh, Russia joined the Catholics. There's a lot of countries in the Protestants, but I don't know if it matters compared to the sheer amount of people on the Catholic side. <sighs> what are the Ottomans up to? They're fighting the Commonwealth. That explains why the Commonwealth's not involved. They're slowly... They're losing versus the Ottomans, but the Ottomans are fighting... The Pope as well, and the Commonwealth has occupied a lot of land. Uh, so is the Ottomans. What's the war over? Zapori. Oh, right there. Huh. What are the sides of that war? I, I assume it's going to naturally go in favor of the Ottomans, but yeah, the Commonwealth has some good troops. Have they done good ideas or? Offensive. They've hit their. They've hit their. They've survived the early game, so they're not as weak as they could be. Um, we can't expel any of these ones. Oh, I'd have to have them not be cord or not be part of a trade company. Uh, let's try that. Remove from trade company. Can I now export them to here? None of them. Oh, I have to make it a state. Okay, I'll make it a state now. I can always take it out later. 14, yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to export these now, right? Yes, we'll do the fetishists. Okay. Yeah. Small chance of revolts, but not a big issue. Claims are still getting fabricated. Next month or two, we should get another thing there. Uh, okay. Uh, time for censorship has come. Expansion ideas, good. Global trade power has been, power has been boosted. We're going to do colonial expansion we're going to get rid of naval secrecy act we're going to swap this to native trading policy cost us a stability and we'll also take that okay we should be able to colonize now without any risk of revolt but we should also be able to colonize in such a way that we get more natives integrated into our empire, which will make us more money in the long run. And apparently we are behind in innovation. I'm going to assume that's admin. It could be dip military or it could be diplo too. Hmm. I'll take the diplo, get that done. Maybe that'll solve the problem. Yep, that was it. We were behind in diplo tech. Of course, now I just defended my merchants again. Me and the merchants have quite the love-hate relationship, don't we? They really like all the trade, but then I offend them left and right. It, please tell me Castile is still not pirating me. They've actually stopped for the moment. Okay. I'd really like to get Castile as an ally, because they're also allied to France, but... How big it how is Russia doing overall? They're doing okay. 
Commonwealth is still fighting the war against the Ottomans. Venice is not involved. Is the Pope still in it? Yes. How is the war going? I'm curious. Commonwealth's out of manpower. Ottomans are almost out. It's close. And all our loans are paid off. That is a good stopping point. So we have reformed our colonial administration a bit. We have managed to get a claim on a Native Americans. We've managed to pay up all our loans. And we've lost a couple of our allies. So overall, great position, right? So see you guys all next episode. Bye for now.